What is going on everyone? Derek here today, I'm bringing you another video. Alright guys, so right off the bat, you can see I have Lucifer here, and we are just two days away from Mustang Week 2020. And that's exactly why I'm here at my buddy Chase's shop, Buffalo Tire, here in Virginia, so if you need any work done, Buffalo Tire, hit them up. We actually have Chase's car in the lift right here, and for a specific reason, because I want to make my car louder. And for those of you that have a Coyote, you might recognize these. These are the over axle pipes that come with these cars, but there's one big change and that lies from here to there. Can you guess what it is? No? Okay, so this is a resonator delete. So pretty much they just took piping, cut out the resonator, welded it in, boom, much louder. Much louder. <laughs> and more pop. He is getting rid of the car, so you know they want to make it a little bit quieter for resale value. So he's gonna trade me my stock ones for the resonator deletes and this should make my car much louder. It, like piss my neighbors off loud or is it gonna be like, eh, just a little bit. So that's what we're doing today, guys. And if you haven't checked out the video Chase and I made, we made two of them this week. There's a car right up in this corner and there's gonna be a car throughout this video. But other than that though, guys, I do have a couple more things I am going to address for this Mustang week prep. I actually bought new O2 sensors because I'm still getting that little dummy code that pops up ever since before I went to VMP. It's just claiming bank one is inaccurate or not the same or whatever. Whatever it's saying doesn't really make sense. It's a P219A code and it keeps coming up. I keep putting my tuner up to it. I'm checking the banks. The banks are perfect. They're within like 10% of each other. And I, I, the only thing I could imagine is I may have blown out a O2 sensor when I had the popcorn tune on the car because you guys know this car used to spit and you know it's not too good for the O2 sensors it's very common so Chase ordered me two new upstream O2 sensors and I got the car some fresh oil along with a filter new plug and things like that so a little treat right here guys this is a 64 and a half and I, to many of you that might be like what but yeah that's what Chase said this thing is original as can be it has 9,000 miles on it and um, the owner actually owns a water company. That's all I'm gonna say. Um, you guys probably drink the water, so it's pretty pretty crazy. I didn't even know he had a house here in Virginia. 9,000 miles, guys. Hey, he said you could get rid of it as long as we swap all the carbon onto my car. <laughs> but some cash on top, of course. So Chase is actually putting gasoline where the oil goes. Yeah. Which is pretty cool. Uh, this is actually paint thinner. Look at that carbon. Damn, you're gonna make me get a carbon hood. Do they have like other cool options? Yeah, they got one like this without a cow on it. Really? really? Kinda sounds like mine now. It sounds damn similar. Hey, go ahead and give it a couple revs with the resonators on, and then we'll do a little comparison after we put them off. Go ahead. It's definitely deeper. It sounds like yours now. That thing's gonna be stupid loud. It's gonna be dumb loud. Get it going. Really quick guys, before we begin, let me show you these resonators. So, those are those big thick boys right there that muffle down your car. All right, so they got the passenger side free. Just trying to wiggle it out of there. There she goes. And the second one. And that would be the passenger, correct?
I guess it worked, huh? It's gonna be really loud. <laughs> oh boy. So we got the resonator delete pipes in, guys. Pretty simple. We are gonna go and adjust the tips kind of at the last part. Right now, we are gonna be focusing on that O2 back there and that O2 back there, along with changing the oil. And again, the reason why I'm changing those O2 sensors, guys, is because I did have a pop tune on this car. Any type of N2MB or, you know, pop tune, anything that spits out the exhaust, loud pops isn't necessarily good for the O2 sensors, so I'm hoping, just hoping, one of those have followed out, and that's why I'm getting this stupid little engine code. So we're gonna give it its first start with the resonator delete, off-road X. Um, yeah, of course, extremes. I'm pretty excited. Let's see what this sounds like whenever you're ready. That is gonna be absurd. Holy shit. Holy shit. Listen to the idol. Oh my god, the idol's like three times louder, dude. That's what mine sounds like. Wow. I think Chase is definitely gonna get me some tickets coming up. No doubt about that. Gosh, I'm so happy with that exhaust note. Super happy. All right, guys, so we're gonna go ahead and get this oil changed out real quick. I have to do some tinkering with the fog light. I'm gonna set you guys down, give them a hand real fast just so we can bust this out. They're trying to get home. But um, I'll let you know if I fix it because the fog lights are kind of doo-doo in this thing, like I said, but we're gonna try. So Chase got one old O2 sensor out and currently working on the next one. It's a little awkward to get up there, but I'm hoping this is exactly what it is. And I just put this cap on from the new one, so don't sweat that. But hopefully that eliminates that stupid check engine light. O2 sensors are in, oil's drained, got the new plug, new filter, about to put oil in, exhaust is completed. And I think we're gonna be good to go, guys. I know the car is definitely significantly louder. So that's gonna be fun. So I just filled some oil up. We're gonna start it up, let it cycle a little bit. Let me get behind this thing. And it's probably gonna peak the mic, just to warn you, cause it's just not, there's no way it's gonna get it accurately. Wrong. Wow. Oil is 100% good to go. We're gonna get this thing off the, off the lift and Drive her home. <laughs> Go ahead. God, look at this thing, man. It looks incredible. It sounds even better. Woo! Jeez, man. Oh my God. I'm in trouble, dude. Jesus, it's loud. Oh, I guess it sounds good though. I am so stoked for that, guys. You have no idea. The car is ridiculously loud and it actually has the speed to match it up with. So don't fault me on that. But I'm gonna get my stuff. We're gonna get out of here. We're gonna take a little cruise home. Hopefully, no trouble. And um, let you guys hear from inside the car. But it's crazy. Oh, I appreciate you for your help, bro. I will see you Saturday. You gonna meet up with us? Yeah, I can try. Thank you for your help, bro. Appreciate, Appreciate you, man. It, man. Absolutely. Get yourself something to eat. I'll be calling you if I get arrested or pulled over. Yeah, right. I mean, that, that 100 You're might right. be coming back for my Fail ticket. Money? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It just started raining, but guys, this car's freaking loud. Oh my god. Dude, it's insane. 
Let me give you a little red match. She's definitely a lot louder, guys, and I love it. It sounds like a boosted Mustang should sound, but I'm gonna get home, it's starting to drizzle and stuff. I wanna make sure I'm careful, and I'll see you guys in just a minute. So guys, it is actually the next day, and <laughs> look at this little crap, what are you doing? So it is currently Thursday on the time of this recording, this clip right here, and I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, doing a little bit of Mustang week prep. I have a couple more things I gotta take care of, but the car sounds phenomenal, and don't you worry, we're gonna get more videos with the full exhaust clip, me opening it up and stuff. On the way home, it was like all wet and raining and stuff, and I'm on the radial, so I didn't want to chance anything stupid just for an exhaust clip, but you heard a majority of it coming off the lift, a little drive home, and it's, it's nasty, it's pretty wild. With that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching. We have Mustang Week, we're rolling out Saturday. Huge crew, you don't wanna miss the videos next week, so make sure you subscribe to the channel, drop a like on this video, hit that post notification bell icon super important guys huge 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 content coming and um yeah saturday's the day before we wrap up today's video guys today's dbp vlog shout out is going out to desert clone frs beautiful new edge you have there man make sure you guys go check them out on instagram for those of you that would like to win a chance to win a shout out on the vlogs all you have to do is follow me on instagram at Derek brown productions it's right there on the screen it takes two seconds guys go follow me and every time you post a photo just use the hashtag at dbp squad and every time i film a video such as this one i go to the hashtag i see you used it and boom shout out anyway guys thank you again so much for watching we will see you tomorrow 8 p.m for another video but until next time we'll see you later